one is Sharana from Hair Awaits, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Apple TV Plus series, The Mosquito Coast, which has new episodes airing on the Apple TV Plus streaming platform every Friday. The series is actually based on the 1981 novel of the same title by Paul, um, Paul Thoreau, who actually is Justin Thoreau's uncle. It stars Justin Thoreau, Melissa George, as we center around an idealist by the name of Allie, played by Justin Thoreau, who uproots his family and moves them to Latin America. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, Welcome, hello, so glad you came, I hope you stay. I tell you what I liked about the series, what I didn't like about the series, and is the Mosquito Coast worth your time or not watching new episodes every Friday on Apple TV Plus? So going into what I enjoyed about this series, um, first and foremost, this series really works based on the performance of Justin Thoreau's Alley, who is really this very smart man, highly intelligent, um, who basically wants to show his family what he thinks to be a better life. He is fed up with America, tired of um, how politics, how ideologies, how capitalism has really ruined America as a whole. And so we don't get to learn the entire backstory of the Fox family, why they are on the run, but we quickly realize in the first episode that there is a secret that Allie and Margot, his wife played by Melissa George, is hiding, and they now have to uproot their family and go on the run in order to escape the NSA and also to other dangerous people that they come in contact with on their journey of making it into Latin America. But I think Justin Thoreau, um, he plays his father who is highly intelligent and is really the intelligence of his character um, as you're trying to understand what did they actually do to land their family in the situation that we find them in, a, in at the beginning of the season. And as we see them deal with certain obstacles, Justin Thoreau's performance um, as this father who gets in these crazy predicaments with his family, um, how he gets them out of these situations or further deeper into even crazier situations, I think that's the piece that actually keeps the audience engaged and what kept me engaged while watching all seven of the episodes. Um, I think also too is really this mystery. There's this underlying mystery of what did Allie and Margot do in order to uproot their entire family, go on the run and really try to, they really left their past lives behind. And it's really that mystery of like, what happened? What did they do? When are we gonna find out? As everyone coming in contact with them is really trying to understand what is this idea that is driving you forward or what is this great decision that you made that has led your characters into this predicament that they find them in? That's what keeps you watching because you have to figure out what is the mystery? Is it worth all of the trouble that this family is going through? Um, is part of his ideologies of this better America that there's a better way? Um, it really asks you to keep watching episode after episode and become invested in what is happening to the Fox family. But it's really as we get into these predicaments that we get to explore the breakdown of family. Um, and it really explores topics such as do parents actually know best? Um, we see this because the parents, they, um, they actually have two... Um, children. Um, they have two children, a boy and a girl, um, Diana, Diana Fox, and also two Charlie Fox. And as you see with their characters, I love Logan Polish. Her character is really the typical 15-year-old um, teenager that you will see who really just doesn't understand why her parents are making her live in this very poor and just very, it's, it's not conducive for teenagers or children as a whole, um, this dynamic that they've actually put their children into. And as we explore um, really her having her own mind and really starting to challenge her father, Allie, um, as they're trying to figure out what is so important for us to continue living like this, it's those explorations, because I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a very daunting task that this, the series actually tries to explore. It wants to keep you invested in the safety and the survival of the Fox family. However, because you don't actually know what Allie did or what Margot did, whoever has something to do with it, um, it's a very daunting task for the audience to continue watching week after week and to try to root for this family who unfortunately they put a lot of different lives in danger. Um, most importantly, one of those lives is Chewy, played by Scotty Tervar, um, who actually gets thrusted into this whole predicament trying to help the family cross the border. I really love Scotty's, um, Scotty's character Chewy because this is when the show actually becomes self-aware that the forces that the um, the forces that the family are actually trying to fight they have actually become. When you talk about the privilege that America is in, you start to begin to see the privilege of this family who continuously puts, um, they continuously put other people in danger in order to help themselves out without anyone really knowing what cause are they actually fighting to help the Fox family? What are they actually helping them trying to escape from? 
Now, also too, before I get into some of the issues that I have with this series, I also really think that this series is very well shot. I love the set locations that they take as they're going on this journey, crossing the border into Latin America, as they become in these um, involvements with the cartel, trying to get away from the NSA, hitmen, all types of crazy things happen, but the show actually does look very beautiful. Um, and for those of you who love wildlife, for those of you who really love the outdoors, I think the set locations that they have throughout the course of the seven episode series, I think is very well shot, very well made. The cinematography, it looks absolutely fantastic. But even though I have a lot of things that I did enjoy about this series, whoo, this series is very frustrating. And I will have to say one of the biggest issues that I do have with the Mosquito Coast is the tropes that we have as we bring in the cartels, um, this situation that they find themselves trapped in one of the cartel families um, as the Fox family is trying to get away from them and continue on to their journey. Um, there's a lot of things that happen to people, as I mentioned with Chewie's character, um, but it sucks that for a series like this that focuses on a white family, um, that minorities come at the expense to save them. And we really get to see this as they begin to, um, they start their journey to cross the border to make the decision to leave America and go into Latin America. Um, it's just really sad that even though this series is trying to combat poverty or um, the, the issues with capitalism, that you're still looking at a family of privilege um, who has the privilege to uproot their, uproot their life and go on this journey um, based on the ideal that Allie has, but that they continuously put minorities in danger every single step of the way throughout the course of this entire series. And then we see the tropes with the Mexican, um, with the cartels, um, with these these tropes that, you know, Hispanics are dangerous, um, that they're drug dealers, a part of the cartel. We continue to see these tropes um, that are continued on through the course of the series as this family is actually fighting for survival and it just goes through the trope that minorities are always expendable. We also don't get to delve into a lot of backstory with some of the characters they come in contact with. Um, outside, I would say Chewie has the best development, even though it's not as much as I would want to see just because Chewie is one of those characters that you want to root for, that you actually like, um, because he also calls Ali out on his privilege. Um, and that's why I say the show is very self-aware, but not self-aware to see that this might be an issue on us actually not wanting to root with this family as we try to come to the, the realization, is Allie actually a good person? Is what he's doing to his family, is these predicaments that he's putting everyone else into, um, losing lives of other people to help them, is this a worthy cause? And I think that that's where the series really starts started to lose me. And it's payoff. As we get into the final episode of the series, the seven episodes, I kind of was just left like, that's, that's it? Like, that's, we did all of this for what? And that's the purpose of the Mosquito Coast. They want you to root for this family. They want you to, as they're trying to unveil the mystery of what Allie did, what Margot did, why are they in this predicament? I feel like the tension is there, but halfway, as we get halfway through the series, when you realize that the family, they might not really be in danger because it seems that everyone else around them has to deal with the repercussions of Allie's actions. And so for me, it's, it's a mixed bag for the series. I think that overall, I wanted to keep watching it each episode. As I said, for the tension and the mystery of this cat and mouse chase, as they get into all of these dangerous predicaments, you want to see how the Fox family is going to prevail through. But once you get halfway through the series and you realize that this has to come at the expense of other characters and that this family doesn't really have to suffer the type of repercussions that you would assume given the circumstances that they were in throughout the series, it kind of leaves you feeling a little bit robbed as you finish the seventh episode. So for me, I would tell you guys to watch, watch at your own expense, okay? Um, as I said, because of Justin's performance, because of some of the predicaments that they get you in, the tension and the action that this series gives, then that's why I kept watching. But as you get to the end, if you are those of you who want to know the mystery and you want to know the payoff and you want to get all of the backstory that you possibly can, I think that some of you may be a little bit disappointed towards the end of the season. But I will still tell you guys, give it a go, give it a watch. Um, I do think that this probably would have 
fare better in a binge type of, I think this would do better in a binge, drop the whole season all at once. Um, but with the Apple TV Plus platform, it's typically you get every single episode each week. So this will be a week to week watch. So I'm letting you guys know there's going to be a lot of frustration. There is going to be a lot of yelling at your television. Um, but I still, I didn't leave feeling satisfied, but I felt satisfied with the buildup of the episodes as I got into the seventh, um, the final and seventh episode. So, Mosquito Coast, new episodes premiere every single Friday. This is a seven episode series currently streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Those are my thoughts on the Mosquito Coast. As always, my name is Sharana from Payroll Waits, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000, and until I see you again, bye.